everyone, Amy Love here, and I'm coming on today to share with you yet another <laughs> fabric covered box. <laughs> this time I blame Nicola Mason. Uh, she is having a swap in her Facebook group, and I'll put a link to her Facebook group below because I'm just having such a good time in there. And a bunch of talented ladies. Um, and so the swap was to raise awareness for uh, breast cancer which uh, we do in October. So we were making a pink box filled with pink goodies. So um, any excuse for me to make a fabric covered box and to make it pink too, I had to had to join the swap. <laughs> so it's a paper mache box that I get uh, from Hobby Lobby. It comes in three nesting boxes and this is the smallest box, which is pretty big box. And I covered it in this beautiful fabric. It's actually an old sheet that I have in my stash that uh, I will be sad when it's gone. So I covered the box with the fabric and on top I uh, cushioned it with some batting so that I could stick a stick pin in it or you could use it as a pin cushion even if you wanted to. And um, I used this beautiful trim uh, from Angel Dream Crafts which I will have a link to Angel Dream Crafts below also. So that's there and there. And then um, I decided to kind of swag some rhinestone uh, cup chain in pink that I also got from Angel Dream Crafts all around the box, which I just think is so pretty. So pretty. And then I popped on these sweet little bows. And I just think it's so cute. I love it. Um, so on the top, I just made kind of a giant flower. I gathered up some of this really pretty soft lace for the bottom layer and then while I have your attention let me talk to you about these two white laces because I love them somebody gifted them to me I haven't had them in years because I can't find them anywhere but they make the most beautiful flowers I love these so this is what this one looks like and if you know where to get them please message me or comment below and then this one, it's really soft and it just makes the most beautiful flower ruffles. I love them and that's all I have left now. <laughs> so I need more of those in my life. And you can see why, because they're absolutely beautiful. So this is one of those right here. Then I put some of the uh, pink pleated tool trim from Angel Dream Crafts for that layer. Then that smaller, beautiful white lace that I'm looking for right there. And then I had this really pretty dainty pink lace in my stash that I think I got from my friend Dora. Dora, thank you for sharing. I love it so much. And then this beautiful flower is from Angel Dream Crafts and it's just one of my favorite pieces that she has in her store. I love it and I absolutely love the way it looks on this box. Oh, I'm sorry, you can see my mass and my <clears throat> camera legs, my tripod legs, goodness gracious. So then I just put this really pretty shabby stick pin right there. And like I said, the top is like a pin cushion, so you could stick pins in it if you wanted to. Oh, focus. There we go. I love it. So let me um, open it. <clears throat> I did paint it with a ballet slipper chalk paint by Waverly, which is this one right here. Oops. Um, I painted the parts that you'd be able to see. So I painted the top of this because um, sometimes, depending on the box, I can wrap the fabric all the way around into the inside and still slip the top on because some of these tops are loose. But this top was too snug for that, so I just painted it. That's what that looks like. And then I lined the inside, of course, because if I'm going to put fabric on the outside, I might as well put some fabric on the inside. <laughs> and then I used that same trim from Angel Dream Crafts right here. So this was so fun to do. And I will have another video um, where I'll just show you all the things I'm putting into the box and just play some music. Because I know some of you like to uh, watch that process. So I will have that in a separate video. But um, I'd love to know what you think. Please leave me a comment and a thumbs up. And you will find a link below to Nicholas Facebook group, to Kim's shop, and to all the other designers on the team. They are all amazing. Be sure you go check them out. And I hope you're all doing well. And I will see you all in the next one.